Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back. It's the Sports Desk on Hilal Live. It's Friday. We uh, have a few things that are a little lighthearted, but also give you that interest. It's weekend. Everybody is just out and about, and uh, we have the lovely weather. Uh, so lots of sporting events happening in and around our country and the world as well. In studio, uh, Firoz Sheikh, our sports analyst. Firoz, what do you have for us uh, this week? What's been happening in the well, sporting world? Well, I tell you what, let's talk about today firstly. We had Ridwan Williams in studio a couple, couple of weeks, weeks ago, ago playing yeah. in the Over 40 World Cup. Right. That final was today. Okay. And they won it. So the Over 40s are world champions. Awesome. Fantastic achievement. So I'm so happy for them. Finally, South Africa brings home a Cricket World Cup. Absolutely. <laughs> Over 40 champions. I want to go through that, that scorecard sure. a little bit, uh, Lukman. Sure. New Zealand batted first. They made uh, 155. Abdul Aziz Tamo, who comes from uh, Boland, okay. he took uh, two for 25. And Yasser Dat, uh, Dita took one for five. He comes okay. from Melanesia. Okay. And then South Africa, when they batted, yeah. um, Werner Molman was 45 not out. Mm -hmm. And in the end, they got 156 for four after 37.4 overs. Of course, they play 45 over format. Gotcha. And then uh, getting them home to lift the trophy. This was the first over 40 World Cup. Right. And we are the first world champions. Nice. Which, what a pleasure. I'm so excited. Congratulations to the guys, Ridwan, and the amazing team and uh, bigger things to come. Absolutely. Um, unfortunately, over 60 World Cup final was today as mm -hmm. well. But I think it was Australia Sasa. that oh, won. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Listen here, there's also, also over 70 as well. No. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Uh, that World Cup is going to be and later on in the than year. I'll ever be. Absolutely. Sure. So uh, that took place in Chennai. The okay. final was today between Australia and England. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. South Africa didn't do too well in that tournament. Right. Uh, but uh, England, um, Australia, I think, won that tournament. So both the World Cups, over 40 and over 60, finished today. One nice. one is staying in South Africa. Yeah. The inaugural one, so that's brilliant. Well, well, if anything to go by, when the under-40s reach the under-50s or the under-60s, they hopefully will bring that one home as well. Well, under-50s lost in the final last year okay. uh, to England in, in the World Cup. That yeah. was played at Newlands. Nice. So. Uh, and I'm not sure when the next over 50 World Cup is, but right. uh, hopefully... Ten years' time. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully not that long. But it's always nice to see old boys getting involved, yeah. you know, because, uh, you know, they've paved the way, but also keeping the legend going, uh, but also giving back. Uh, you've got youngsters now watching them and all those technical issues that you have in a sport. These are the guys that have that have done it. Look, like when Ridwan was here, we spoke about it. it is serious business For now. Sure. You know, the... The over 40 uh, veterans Western Province final is on Sunday okay. between a Primrose oh, right. and um, Primrose and a Brackenfell okay. at Claremont. So that was exciting semi-finals on Wednesday. Ottoman and Primrose went head to head. Primrose winning there, I think they got the winning rounds just over and over to spare, mm -hmm. and they will take on Brackenfell. So that's another exciting final to look forward to. So veterans cricket is really uh, taking off in South Africa. Western Province, like I said, uh, when Ridwan was here, we are the biggest uh, association, 20 teams, and it might be expanding wow. next year. So the clubs are wanting to come on board yeah. to play veterans click, uh, cricket. It's expanding. They can't wait. Nice. There's applications coming in to join. So it's really becoming serious. Awesome. Business. I like that. Awesome. I like hearing that. Well, good luck. I hope everything works out. No, absolutely. And then like uh, Lukman was talking about the Heritage Cup, I do yeah. have the fixtures uh, for Sunday. Okay. Maybe we can just go yeah, through some sure. of the fixtures. Absolutely. He mentioned the teams from former District 6. That's where the SK Warmer Silver Tree. Mm -hmm. um, so on Sunday, it starts at 8.35 with the junior fixture schedule. When Manenberg is playing this time as well. Okay. Manenberg under nines is playing a Langa under nines. That's at 8.35. Mm -hmm. And then at uh, 9 o'clock will be Manenberg under 13s okay. taking on the Langa uh, under 13s. Mm -hmm. At 9.40 will be the Langa under 16s taking on Manenberg under 16s, and then we're at 10.20 uh, will be Manenberg under 19s, taking on the Elanga under 19 nice. So I think the early morning Junior is tournament. for uh, juniors. Mm -hmm. And like you said, it's 20 minutes. And like you said, you can have squads up to 40. So, yeah. you know, they can play two teams of and, and stuff. Like I like, you know, I think they have a very good format. Yeah, uh, I like the, um, the planning of where they would like to take this tournament uh, and, and also the clubs preparing off-season for when Correct. they do eventually play as Correct. well. Correct, it's part of the preparations and I, I like the name Heritage Cup because like, yeah. like you spoke about District 6, so many teams in you know cricket, football, so many sports that have come out of there Correct. and they're still surviving these days and the That's rivalries it. are still going. It's good to see them in action. Yeah. What do you have in the um, the, the main the main? Well, section? it starts at about 10 past 11. We have Titans playing Langa. Uh, False Bay playing a Manenberg, 
Langa playing false pay, mm -hmm. uh, Titans taking on Manenberg, false pay playing Titans, and it'll wrap with Manenberg taking on uh, Langa. And all that taking place at uh, Knoll Road, corner of Knoll and David Avenue in, in uh, Athlon Industrial. Of okay. course, that is their home, yes. uh, Kelly's home ground. That's it. So, yeah, looking forward to some brilliant uh, Heritage should Cup be, uh, Club Rugby. Should be fun. Uh, if you're in the area, do go out and support. Yeah. Okay, what else is happening in the world of sport? Well, Formula One starts tomorrow. Mm. I'm not sure if you're a big fan. I am a massive fan. Of? Uh, okay. So I've jumped ship. I used to be a massive Ferrari fan. Oh, okay. Right. And uh, I've, I've become a Williams fan, a McLaren fan, okay. um, primarily because uh, the reliability over the years has been a little bit of a roller coaster, but they've had quite a bit of. Um, except I'm a hu huge Lewis Hamilton fan. So, so are you going to follow Ferrari when he moves over? <sighs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the short answer. Yeah. So we're hoping it does mm. happen. Uh, like I said, the, the Vets final takes place on uh, Sunday, starts at 11 o'clock uh, mm -hmm. between Primrose and uh, Brackenfell at the uh, Claremont uh, Cricket Ground. Mm -hmm. Just go over the semi-final results quickly. Brackenfell beating Claremont by nine wickets and Primrose beating Ottoman by six wickets. That was obviously a uh, uh, rivalry there as yes. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, looking forward to That's that. That's like game. a derby. Man. Correct. Okay. When you see those teams, it's, you know, yeah. it's absolutely brilliant. And of course, the CSA 4 days uh, series final is taking place. Western Province again mm -hmm. in the final. That's... I was told the other day that it's been a while, or since about 10 years it's... since they've won the four-day Yes, it, I can tell you now, it was last with the Hashim Amla days, when Hashim Amla yeah. joined, Graham Smith days, yes. uh, that crowd, yeah. you know, that were, had like 90% of the team was part of the Proteas, mm. uh, it was during that era. Because I know when they won the One Day Cup, it was after seven years. So look, look, they're in the driving seat at the moment, uh, Lions 225 mm -hmm. in the first innings and in the second innings currently on 10 for two. Uh, Western Province made 312, mm -hmm. the Lions leading by 77 runs, mm -hmm. still got Plenty of time, uh, so hopefully uh, they can bowl the Lions out and chase Shall that I? score down. Nice. And another trophy comes to Cape Town. There we go. Becoming the sporting capital of South Africa. I tell you what, it's about time because we, they, I mean, if you drive in and around Cape Town, any suburb, on a weekend, even in the week, you will see sport happening. Correct. They're just amazing uh, sport athletes here as well. Uh, very quickly, EPL. Um, yeah, we have we to have? talk about that. Uh, mm -hmm. Brentford, Chelsea. Uh, Everton, West Ham, yeah. Fulham, Brighton, Newcastle, Wolves, Forest and Liverpool, and Tottenham taking on Crystal Palace. All those games tomorrow at yes. 5 o'clock. Luton playing Aston Villa at half past seven. Yeah. And then on Sunday, um, one big game. Mm -hmm. uh, City and United, the big derby. I, I don't see your team in action. Uh, I think we're action playing on Monday. Sheffield United, I think on Monday. Yeah, but yeah. you guys are on fire at the we moment. We are playing so well, and I hope they really keep it up. Um, the midfield's clicking. The strike force is just amazing. Corners, uh, I was looking at stats. Um, we've scored, I think, about it, just this year. We've scored about 13 goals from corners. From corners. From corners. That's brilliant. Yeah, I think that's so they've got that working for them. Mm -hmm. Um, still a couple of two points behind Liverpool. Uh, Man City, how do every year do they get a game in hand? And yeah, for I some think reason, it's the Champions League, I and, think so. and, and they all remember they also played in the club champs. Oh, that's also true. So that was that's possibly why true. they got a game in hand. That's also true. Okay, uh, any local soccer happening? Yeah, tonight is uh, Stellenbosch Chipper United. Okay. And then the pick of the games in a weekend Chiefs and Swallows tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And on Sunday, Cape, Sundown, Cape Town Spurs uh, taking on TS Galaxy. That's on Sunday. Oh, nice. Uh, I think local soccer um, has a place. Um, and like I said, we've got the lower teams that are now advancing as well. We we spoke to Joe Masono the other day. He's wanting Cosmos to come back into the premiership, so look out for that. Um, but also, um, our, our players that then go and play overseas mm. and come back. We spoke to the young man not too long ago that yes, played in Portugal. Yes, What an amazing youngster. Absolutely. We're hoping the talent you know, comes from, from, from these games. Do you know where the Spurs game is happening? Local or... Away. Spurs is playing at home. At home. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay, that should be exciting as well. Uh, another big week coming up, uh, I think, for sporting as well. Like you said, Formula One is always exciting. Um, I'm hoping they can conclude that deal where Lewis goes over to Ferrari. I think, I think for, it has been concluded. Oh, has it, has it been it? concluded? Yes, okay, I haven't, haven't been followed. Yeah. Thanks for that. Um, so I'm now a Ferrari fan again. Well, I think he's got one more season. 
Possibly. Yeah, and then he'll join from next season, I think so. We'll we'll check oh, that. Well, we'll I've, verify I've just, that. I've just yeah. been told by my, my senior technical manager in studio that he will be joining in 2025. 2025. Confirmed. Yeah. How's that for a response? Absolutely. <laughs> On the ball. Yep. Firoz, thanks so much for coming into studio. Um, thanks for giving us the latest sports results. We'll do this all next Friday, inshallah. Inshallah. Have a good weekend. Salaam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. And that's how we end Hilal Live Sports Desk. We'll do this in uh, again all uh, again next Friday. But don't forget to join us this weekend at the Spice Maker Ramadan Sook Series. If you are in the Cape Town area, do pop around. Uh, or you can watch us live as we broadcast all the activities. From the technical team, uh, Sohel Barnes, and from myself, uh, Lukman Shadrach, have a great weekend. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Hilal Live. It's the sports desk uh, that we have on a Friday. And guess what? You not only have the privilege of having one Lukman in studio, you've got two uh, Lukmans in studio. I'm going to hand over to our sports analyst, uh, Firoz Sheikh, to introduce our guest. Assalamu alaikum, Firoz. Wa alaikum salam, Lukman number one. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing well. I think I'll take the number two for now. I don't, okay. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Our guest is very special. I have gladly held the, that number one over. Um, exciting sporting week, but we have a lovely guest in studio. Tell Small. Yeah, fantastic. So we're talking uh, rugby uh, today and it's the Heritage Cup here in Cape Town. It started uh, last week, I think, and one of the uh, chief initiators is uh, Lukman Number 1, Lukman Adonis from Caledonian Roses, more popularly known as Callies, formerly from District 6. Lukman, Salaam Alaikum and thanks for coming through. Wa Alaikum Salaam Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Thank you for having me. Uh, I look, salam Lukman's first time. Wa Alaikum Salaam. I'm in studio with another Lukman. Not the last time, Inshallah. No, I mean, inshallah. <laughs> Tell us about the Heritage Cup. I know it started, I think, last week. And tell us what's it all about. Look, the Heritage Cup uh, is, is a tournament that started out of necessity. Um, we looked at uh, the, the clubs uh, from our Great uh, Malay Heritage, uh, emanating out of the District 6 World Cup areas. Mm -hmm. And we looked at the current position versus the success of the past. And the one thing that was stood out is the lack of support mm -hmm. for the majority of clubs. And this was something which wasn't uh, the case, uh, pre, you know, during the time of District 6. And then we also looked at uh, the lack of funding mm -hmm. for these clubs. And out of that, uh, we thought to ourselves, how do we get communities to support clubs again? Mm -hmm. And we started uh, with this heritage tournament. We've had two rounds. The final round will be on Sunday. And it's a tournament where it's all about the clubs and raising funds through the gates through what is sold in the cafe and also on the day the winners there is no losers the winner mm -hmm. takes away seven and a half thousand rand the runner up three and a half and in the third and fourth place two thousand rand each and uh, all the gate fees is cut into four mm -hmm. and then fifty percent of the net profit that is uh, generated through the takeaways cafe is also equally shared amongst the four clubs on the day nice that's why we've had eight clubs participated and our payout was, was about 80 grand already. Wow. Okay, so this week um, the intention is to be finishing off the round robins at, uh, at Null Avenue. And uh, we have four teams that's going to be participating there. Same procedure, same principle. And um, the winner of each round goes into a grand final. Mm -hmm. We're trying to finalize the date for Athlon Stadium in April. Inshallah. Inshallah. And we as well. We'll have two semi-finals, a third place playoff and a final where the winner will win 75,000 rand. Wow. Run up 40,000 and 25 and 15 in addition to all participating clubs from round one. Up until the final round, they'll be equally sharing the gate fees again. Mm -hmm. Same principles and then uh, this last night we also uh, became, the Heritage Tournament became the first Rugby for Humanity mm. initiative as well. So we also now have the same guys behind the Palestinian Gotcha. Movement uh, that is now uh, Stepping Stone uh, Guys. Step, yes, correct. And they've assisted us into getting the Athens Stadium secured. Nice. Fantastic. You mentioned obviously a lot of the teams are originally from District 6, yeah. but I see you also brought in a junior segment as well. So tell us about the junior segment. Phenomenally, this is the first time I think in the history of sport that we have uh, asked clubs to bring juniors just to reward them over the 10 day free match trial tutorial yeah. period via MJ Education SMS platform. Mm -hmm. So what it, what happens is just for participating, the club itself, they register all the juniors. And for 10 days, they'll be assisted with a match uh, tutoring system. Uh, and then thereafter, 
if the parents like like the product, they can register. And then the club where, where the kid is emulating from will earn fifty percent of the registration fee. It's only two hundred bucks or a hundred bucks. And for as long as this kid is in the program on the monthly subscription, the clubs will also earn twenty percent of that subscription subscription fee. So the whole objective is, is to is to obviously for the heritage to to change a bit of our heritage and to reduce academics and to use the sport as a catalyst for change. So we know the history of District 6 and we know how popular rugby is in Cape Town and in the Muslim community. Talk to us about some of the teams that have been involved in, in the tournament so far. That's why well, in round one we had my club, uh, Caledonian Roses, um, Collegians, uh, Violets and Surrey State Rangers or Rangers. Um, on the day, Kelly's won the tournament, okay, congrats. the round one. Um, I still didn't pay the. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so, so look, it was a it was a massive success in our opinion. It was also the the, the, the round that was attended uh, the most. Well, we had nice. the most uh, attendance. I think that's all thanks to also collegians and the crowds that they pulled. Of course. Um, the day was a successful day. It was new to everyone. However, um, we never made any rule changes to the game. It's only when it's a yellow card or three yellow cards uh, for the day mm. you get top minus one in your lock point. And if it's a red and a yellow within the game, it's a minus one. Mm -hmm. So we just added that disciplinary components, okay? Because the teams from our heritage as well were, 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 were notorious for fights. All right. <laughs> so the idea is to change the mindset, change the approach. Great. And you know, because it's part of unity, we're striving mm -hmm. for unity. And we made these subtle changes to the application of rugby by just administrating the processes of discipline much better mm -hmm. and also um, uh, ensuring that the coaches as well. I mean, we worked on a on a on a 30 man, 35 man squad. Mm -hmm. Every 10 minutes, it's a 20 minute game. Mm -hmm. Every 10, sorry, 20 minute pass. After 10 minutes, you know, it's a water break of one minute. Okay. You are also allowed to make 15 man rolling sub. So you don't come as team one, team two, team three. It's the club mm -hmm. and the squad. And it's the idea for coaches to develop uh, tactical acumen, Brilliant. strategy, and also to know. Who they can count on, you know, at certain times of uh, match yeah. during the season, perhaps. So that was in the round one. Same principles was carried over in the round two, where we just this was now the past Sunday, and it was won by SK Wilmers. Okay. Uh, we had Paul Vignot, um and then it was Amadeus, and the last last one was Silver Tree. Okay. It was also the first time I think in 30 years that SK Wilmers and Silver Tree played each other. Really? Wow. Yeah. So that's I mean, history. That's history. I mean, we're from from playing week in week out mm -hmm. to after 30 years. So we believe that the cup in itself, the competition in itself, has, has done, uh, you know, the community proud. Mm. In the sense of that, at the short notice, you know, we've managed to, to have the success that we've had, and we can only look at, uh, you know, building on this and, and improving and making it even bigger next year. Inshallah. 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 I was going to ask you about the uh, how many minutes a side we're playing. You did mention mm. 20 minutes, but I think some some of the teams play more than one games in the day. How, how do they manage that thing that you're still into the, the pre-season stage at the moment? So, okay, so MJ Education, we have a, a team of graduates, right? And we have a team of graduates and their job was to design a tournament where all the, 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 the criteria for pre-season uh, has to be emphasized upon. In other words, learning from your mistakes. Right. So instead of doing like-for-like -like changes, you can actually bring up a total new team mm -hmm. onto the field mm -hmm. and change the strategy, change the tactic. So it's how you prepare for this. So what most of the teams, we had a big squad, we had about 40. So we could play one team in the one game and 20 mm -hmm. and 15 guys on the bench. Mm -hmm. And we had and we had 10 recent. So what we did, we strategized and we knew what our combinations was. Mm -hmm. And we went in with a younger team to start off with. They just held, you know, they held the line and then we would finish off with our more experienced and stronger guys. So the, 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 the good thing about it is the fitness levels improve. It's also the ability within three round robin games to fix your mistakes. Mm -hmm. And then if you're the, high, the top two and with the highest points goes through to the final on the day, mm -hmm. you know, and that's means you play four games, but it's four games, 20 minutes are off. Mm -hmm. So it's equivalent to one and a half games that you play. Of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. High impact though, 20 minutes Absolutely. Uh, must be just, you know, um, action packed from the start to finish. Yeah, not really. Um, mm -hmm. uh, a team like a Legion's the only team in our round that scored four tries, they got a bonus point. Okay. You know, whereas we gave away the least tries. Right. Uh, yeah. For our own sake. Uh, and it, it's actually, I think, I think the coaches mm -hmm. bought into the tactical component. Mm -hmm.
It's a good, it's a tactical competition. Fantastic. Gotcha. Lukman Adona, shukran for coming through and uh, all the best uh, for Sunday. And of course, we look forward to uh, coming that final as well, get some results and, and stuff inshallah. like that. Inshallah. Inshallah. All the best to you. You're doing wonderful things with the Rugby Heritage Cup. Yeah. Keep it up. No problem, Shukran. Shukran so much, my brother, for coming into studio as well. Uh, that's uh, Lukman Adonis. Uh, that's the Heritage Cup. After the break, we chat a bit more. Um, uh, some of the other sporting events yeah. that's happening. Do join us. It's uh, Hilal Live. It's the Sports Desk with Feroz Sheikh.